so I uh, recently decided that I'm probably going to do herbivores for a little while. So in order to make that easier, I want to get the herb sack so I don't have to bank as much. And uh, I'm doing Wilderness Slayer for Slayer points because it's like 750 points for some reason. Okay, so I've been Slayer point boosting without Wilderness Slayer because it's a lot more enjoyable Wilderness Slayer. I think it's kind of awful, honestly. Hopefully I get a good assignment. This would be my last one. Let's see. Okay, that's I, that's pretty fast, I think. That's good. Here we go. This is the last Steel Dragon. Uh, the task, honestly, like... Well, here, yeah. Okay, I got 791 points. I can buy an herb sack now. The task is honestly, like, fine, but uh, the big problem is that actually killing steel dragons and not getting aggroed by a bunch of goddamn iron dragons is really annoying. Because the iron dragons there, there's just a lot more than steel dragons, and they all aggro you, and you have to, like, set up to buy or to get hit by a steel dragon. Sometimes you just... It, Iron Dragon decides to destroy you, man. And you just have to run away. It's really awful. But anyways, I got the herb sack. Here we go. Finally. I don't even know why it's a Slayer award. Here, I killed this person by accident. Sorry. So, recently just hit a 90 Hunter. All from doing herbivores. Uh, I told myself that... I would stop doing a reverse at 90, but I recently saw that a bunch of people have been getting the pet, so it makes me think that the pet is a uh, bit more common than I originally thought it would be, so I think I might just go for it a bit longer. I've seen multiple people get it, so it makes me think that pet is like 1 in 1,000 Erebors, and I I'm like just above 1 in 1,000 right now, so I might as well just keep doing it. It's not, I'm not like burnt out of it or anything, so I just kind of wanted to try black shins. But it's not bad, so I might, I'm just going to keep doing this for now. I gained 3 mil XP since then, so I'm not sure exactly how many herbivores. They're adding a counter on Thursday, and today is uh, Tuesday, so uh, hopefully I won't still be hunting it by then, but yeah, you never know. Might be giving up on the uh, herbivore pet, I think. Uh, just not enough money like compared to black shins. Might as well just do black shins. All I get out of the herbivore is a better chance at a pet, possibly. Anyways been using my fossils that I got from Herbivore to uh to just build this big old exhibit. I'm gonna make some beautiful fossils here. Look at this uh well made content placeholder description. Alright so I finished putting up all my uh displays. Got some lamps. Let's put these all on the slayer. <laughs> There we go, 74 Slayer now. I've got 55k total XP from the Slayer lamps. Very nice stuff. So uh, I don't exactly know what happened here, but this person was originally using a Dragon Dagger, so I assume that he's not a bot or something. He just randomly started attacking me at Black Shins, and he... Uh, he ran over here after I started auto-retaliating him. I didn't even have uh, attack options on, so I had to just turn on auto-retaliate to hit him. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure what just happened. He didn't eat. He didn't do anything. He just auto-attacked me. And then I got some free rune items. 91 crafting coming in. Uh, back on the crafting grind. Because... Uh, Bear Biostas are 4 GP per XP again, so I've hit 91 Hunter since then. I did mostly Herbivores, and, but I did 
around from 90 to 91 and however much XP that is with black chins. Black chins are really fun, but they're really hard to me. I think they'll probably get easier, but I find them harder than like three tech mining, for example. Just, I think it's cause I don't know, I'm using like an alt. So I have to play on like two accounts to make it max efficiency. I have to chew the shins, or I have to three tick them as well. I figured out why I wasn't zero ticking them properly. I thought I had to wait a tick before I uh, place the, uh, or before I move after placing the first box, but you have to do it on the same tick. So I solved that problem and I've been getting it relatively consistently. 92 crafting, halfway, easy stuff, very fast skill. Just hit a 93 construction. Just hit a 96 crafting. I'm now uh, canning imps while crafting in order to get the champion scroll. I already have the music track, but you know, I thought might as well. I don't really waste much time doing it this way. And if I ever want to get all the champion scrolls in the future, I can get one more out of the way. Just got my champion scroll, so now I can uh, stop crafting, or stop canning. Oh, shit, I should probably pick up my cannon. So now I can stop uh, canning while doing this. Uh, I'm guessing I could just stay at this bank. Doesn't really matter where I bank. 98 crafting done, one level to go. Uh, here we go. 99 crafting. Ooh, cool fireworks. Uh, let's buy the cape. Uh, yep. Buy. Where? Let's take a look at that emote. And let's not forget the most important part of the cape. The only reason I even leveled the skill for the teleport. So now I can do uh, lavas whenever I want. Uh, I'm not really feeling up to it recently, but I'm sure I'll get the rune crafting itch at some point again. It is a very cool skill. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks. And yeah, thanks.